Okay, today's business question. How do I build a healthy culture in my office? This is a really big deal because the culture in your organization really impacts everything that you do at the company. The first step is to remove what I call culture killers. When I go and work at an office, the first thing I do is I do a comprehensive assessment. I interview team members, I look at the reports, I look at the marketing and things like that. In that process, there are four things that I've learned to look for to see if there are culture killers in the organization. The first thing is anxiety. Are there people in the organization that are really worried about going into work? They sit in their car outside of the door and they're afraid of what's gonna happen when I go through those doors. Another thing that I'm looking for is conflict. Are team members fighting with each other? Is it black and white? There's no gray area. It's either right or wrong or I'm right and you're wrong and there's a lot of conflict. The third thing is different than conflict. It's called distance. This is where people come to work and they're polite and they're nice, but there's no constructive criticism, there's no encouragement, people aren't having really good conversations, they just sort of stay out of each other's way. And finally, blame shift. Blame shift is where one individual in the organization gets the rap, gets the bad cred for everything bad that happens at the organization. Instead of blaming leadership or instead of blaming the organization for not building the right culture, they point everything that goes bad at an organization on one individual. Well, that, that must be Bob's fault. So they fire Bob. The problem is, a couple months later, there's a new Bob. If we don't deal with the culture killers in an organization, then the organization is not going to be a fun place to work and there will not be a lot of productivity from the team. If in your organization you have anxiety or conflict, distance or blame shift, then it's a pretty good indicator that you have some culture killers. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the first culture killer that you can remove from your organization, which I call personality ignorance. Tune into the next video for more helpful information for growing your business.